to apply is the thumb spiker splint. Uh, the, uh, again, the wrist should be in a functional position. And once we apply the splint, the thumb actually goes inward. So we're going to apply the splint here, with the thumb in, like this here. When we apply this particular splint, it actually will starts off at the thumb, comes down to the wrist, and curves over the, uh, the arm itself, the radius and all. And what that does is prevents rotation. So by us bringing it here and crossing it over the wrist and halfway down the arm, again, it prevents rotation. Again, we want to make these patients as comfortable as possible. So we'll measure with the two inch. Ace wrap here. We do a little curvature. And then we cut our material. Usually with the uh, finger uh, uh, splints, we usually use the smaller material. For this particular young man, we're going to use the two inch because we're just focusing basically on this, uh, this one uh, finger or thumb, okay? Again, we cut our measure and cut. Want to make sure all the jagged areas are covered by the sleeve of the splint. Again, those jagged areas, we want to remove those. Otherwise, the patient will experience discomfort. Again, with our cool, clean water, minimal amount of water applied. Remove the excess water from the splint itself. With your palm of your hand, you remove all the remaining wrinkles. So, we want to take the patient's hand and flex it back just a tad bit in a functional position. Splint all the way to the tip of the thumb and curve the splinting material halfway through the arm. So if you hold here for me. And there. We start off at the wrist. wrap. Okay. And once the splint is applied, we need to put the patient back in the right position. And by doing so, again, you flex the wrist back. You hold it in place about a minute, a minute and a half, and bring the thumb inward. And again, you hold in place. Okay. On all of the splints that we've applied so far, um, I would make sure that the patient was had some type of uh, medicine on board because a lot of times, as you can imagine, just moving these injured limbs, fingers, can be very uncomfortable. So what I like to do is ask the uh, physician or the med devils that we have here if we can provide the patient with some type of medicine uh, for pain control. It's really, really important. Uh, that they get pain control on board before we start 
any type of applications or manipulations. All right. So this is your thumb spiker splint.